The Udana, Section 4.3 The Cow Herd Thus have I heard, at one time the Lord was journeying among the people of Kosala, together with a large order of bhikkhus. Then the Lord stepped off the road and going up to the foot of a tree, he sat down on a seat prepared for him. A certain cowherd approached the Lord, prostrated himself and sat down to one side. The Lord then instructed, roused, inspired and gladdened that cowherd with a talk on Dhamma. And that cowherd, being instructed, roused, inspired and gladdened by the Lord's talk on Dhamma, said to the Lord, Please consent, revered sir, to my providing a meal tomorrow for the Lord, together with the order of bhikkhus. The Lord consented by remaining silent. Then on seeing that the Lord had consented, the cowherd arose from his seat, prostrated himself before the Lord, and keeping his right side toward him, went away. When the night had ended, the cowherd prepared in his own dwelling a large quantity of thick rice gruel boiled in milk and a quantity of fresh ghee, and announced to the Lord the time for the meal, saying, It is time, revered sir, the meal is ready. Then the Lord, putting on his robe in the forenoon, and taking his bowl and outer cloak, together with the order of bhikkhus, went to the dwelling of that cowherd. On arriving, he sat down on the seat prepared for him. Then the cowherd, with his own hand, served and satisfied the order of bhikkhus, headed by the Buddha, with the thick rice gruel and fresh ghee. When the Lord had eaten and removed his hand from the bowl, the cowherd chose a low seat and sat down to one side. The Lord then instructed, roused, inspired, and gladdened that cowherd with a talk on Dhamma, and then arose from his seat and departed. Now, not long after the Lord had departed, a certain man murdered that cowherd along the village boundary. Then a number of bhikkhus approached the Lord, prostrated themselves, sat down to one side and said, Revered sir, that cowherd who today, with his own hand, served and satisfied the order of bhikkhus, headed by the Buddha with a thick rice gruel and fresh ghee, has been murdered. It is said by a certain man, along the village boundary. Then on realizing its significance, the Lord uttered on that occasion this inspired utterance. Whatever an enemy might do to an enemy, or a hater to those he hates, a wrongly directed mind can do even greater harm than that. <laughs>